This is Father Greg Hiley coming to you again from the Aquinas Institute Chapel. On the memorial of St. Augustine, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, and for many of us uh, in religious life, it, he is Holy Father Augustine because he is uh, a bishop in fourth century Algeria who founded the earliest rule for community life. He went through a conversion thanks to the prayers of his mother, Monica, and all of the positive influences around him. And he established a community, not looking inward on itself in a self-absorbed way, but living a rule of life for the sake of mission in the church. The rule of St. Augustine is, I think, eight chapters. It's a short document. And it is the rule of life for the Dominicans and the Augustinians and the Norbertines and the Mercedarians. It's a very simple document and it, it, it deals with very practical things like uh, who uh, takes care of the clothing for the community? How do, we, uh, how do we eat meals together? How do we tend to the sick and to the infirm? It's all the practical nitty gritty of our life. And each of these religious communities, these religious orders also has their own constitutions, spelling that out in great detail. How do we live together as Christians? It's so mundane, it's so practical. But the whole idea, I think, is that by tending day to day to the mundane and practical realities of living with one another in community, we prepare ourselves inwardly for a vigorous sense of mission and of living the gospel, of going out from community in service, in preaching, in love. Today's passage from chapter 23 of Matthew says, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like tombs, you're all beautifully whitewashed on the outside, but inside you're full of dead bones and filth. We don't want that for ourselves. We won't want to be dead bones. We want to be living Christians on discipleship to the world. And so we tend to the nitty gritty of our daily life. Perhaps the question for us today is, for those of you in community or not, uh, perhaps, those of you living your Christian life and family life or among circles of friends and in the workplace. What is the, how, do, how does domestic responsibility make you a better Christian? What are the day-to-day -day mundane responsibilities of your life that help you to go forth in love and service?